Your assignment today, you are going to take this Google Doc about Grace Hopper, the Queen of Code, and you are going to format it to look like this. So you're going to make this presentation, this Google Doc, a lot easier to read. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's read about Grace Hopper. Grace Hopper was an American computer scientist and United States Navy Rear Admiral. She was born on December 9, 1906 in New York City. Hopper was one of the first programmers of a Harvard Mark I computer and developed the first compiler for a computer programming language. She popularized the idea of machine-independent programming languages, which led to the development of COBOL, an early high-level programming language still in use today. Key contributions. Developed the first compiler for a computer programming language. Popularized the idea of machine-independent programming languages. Played a key role in the development of COBOL. So there you go. That is a biography about Grace Hopper. But yours, again, does not look as easy to read as this one. So we're going to fix that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight the title. So what you'll do is you'll put your mouse right at the beginning and click, and you can either drag your mouse across, which sometimes I find when you do that, it might move letters around. So I prefer to use my keyboard. I hold down my shift key and use my right arrow, or sometimes just the down arrow one time and it selects my entire row, whichever is easier for you. Go ahead and do that now. Your job is to make this Grace Hopper, the Queen of Code, to a title format. We're going to use the style right here and click this and choose title. When we do that, it automatically applies a formatting for the style of the title. So now it's going to be in a different font and it's also larger and in bold. So go ahead and do that now. We also want to align this where it's in the center. So to do that, we're gonna use the alignment tool right here and we're gonna choose the second one in, which is center align. Now let's check and make sure how that looks. That looks just right. Now we want to go and we want to add, do you notice this is single spacing? There's not very much space between our lines here, but look at this one. This one has been double spaced. So to do that, we're going to highlight the whole remainder of this biography. So I'm going to hold down my shift button and I'm just going to click my down arrow. I find it's pretty easy and hard to mess up that way. Now that the whole thing is highlighted, I'm going to go up to format go to line and paragraph spacing and move this over to double. So go do that now. Now that's done, let's compare. So we have here, looks pretty good. So now let's come down and we have something to do here for the key contribution. So we're going to highlight this row. I put my cursor here, shift button, down arrow, very easily highlighted the whole row. Now I'm going to put this in bold right there. Do that now. These next things are her key contributions. You notice how easy they are to read because they are in bullet points. So what we'll do is we will highlight all of these. Now notice I'm trying to use my mouse to do that. If I would have just pressed shift and my down arrow three times, it would have done it a lot easier. That's why I really prefer the the keyboard to do my highlighting and selecting. Now we want all of these to be in a bullet format. And so here are our options. We can choose this right here and you can choose a different style of bullet and, or you could even choose the number. I'm just gonna choose the most common, this right here. And let's take a look. And it looks exactly the same. So now we have learned something about great Grace Hopper, the queen of code, great computer technology expert of the past who's done so much for our future. So we've learned about Grace Hopper and you've also worked on formatting a biography and looking so nice. I hope you did well on this project today. You can turn this in on Google Classroom and then move on to when you're finished.